Hey guys, Jeffrey from Headstrong Training Systems here. So today we're gonna to be looking at the low bar squat. In particular, we're gonna be looking at how we can create a shelf or essentially upper back tightness, so a shelf for the barbell to rest on, so our barbell placement on our upper back when we perform the squat movement. Now, what I mean by that is essentially, when you are going to unrack the barbell in a low bar squat, you need to create a shelf. You need to create a place where you can situate the barbell without it slipping, without it moving around, and where you can generate maximum tightness. Because the low bar squat is different to a high bar squat. In a high bar squat, you have the barbell sitting across your traps, and that's your shelf right there. You don't have to create anything. You don't really have to worry about staying tight in the upper back because that the, your traps take care of it for you. But with a low bar squat, because that barbell is situated lower down, if you don't actively work to create a shelf for that, Bible to sit on, that Bible can move around, you can rotate, you can slip around, um, rotate, glide, etc. And so that puts you at risk of the Bible moving, and so a misgroove may occur, or yeah, and you're also not generating momentum or essentially generating a solid foundation of your body to press up against that Bible. Because even though, yes, the Bible is going down, we also we always want to be applying upwards force so we don't collapse right under the Bible. So, simply, how do we do that? Now, when we get into it with the low bar squat, the cue that I like to give for my athletes is to pull the shoulders, i uh, sorry, to pull the elbows back and down. To so say when I've got the barbell on my back or even when I go to unrack straight away, I ask the athletes to pull back with the elbows and down. So when we pull back, that essentially contracts all our back, all our, our muscles in our upper back. Um, so that'll be your rhomboids, your traps, um, and the muscles underneath. Um, but then the thing is, we can't just pull back because when we pull back, you see that my chest will expand, and my, when my chest, my, when my chest expands, the rib cage becomes un, untucked and flat. And we don't want that. We want everything to be stacked. So after you pull back the elbows, make sure you pull down because when you pull down with the elbows, that that then stacks everything. So let's put that into action. So say for example, I'm um, squatting low bar, and get into my position, I find the placement, um, the ideal level which I want the bar to be from here, I'm gonna pull back and then pull down and then contract, just squeeze all the muscles in my back, activate it to create my shelf and that's gonna create my tightness. And from there, you take your steps out, you do your unwrap. In your standing position, I would recommend um, after you brace, before you go or as you brace, just to do run those cues through again. So elbows back, down and contract the upper back just because in case during your walkout, um, some things might leak, but essentially that's all you need to do. So from that um, arm rack position, and when you're cueing yourself, what I recommend is to summarize the video, is to pull back and down with the elbows. You'll feel, you, you literally feel the shelf being created, and then after that, contract all your upper back muscles. So just squeeze, the, squeeze everything out of them to essentially give you um, foundation and give you tightness to support the barbell on your back. So that's all for me today, guys. Hopefully that was helpful for you, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.